Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video will contain copyrighted material being used underneath the fairy sack for educational purposes. The Flat Earth Convention in the UK is coming up. And I suspected long ago that it was going to be a flop. <laughs> what is a flop? Well, a flop is if you rent out a convention room that holds 250 people and only uh, 50 or 100 show up. <laughs> That's a flop. Um... You know, one of my subs asked me a couple months ago, hey, man, can you do a video on the upcoming conventions coming up, man? Because I think they ain't selling tickets because they extended out the early bird prices. So I went and checked, and he's right. They extended out the early bird prices, which is an obvious clue that the tickets aren't selling. <laughs> they did it with the Flatter Convention. They did it with uh, or the UK Convention. They did it with the Denver Convention. No, I don't think the con Denver Convention. They, yeah, they did. They extended all the um, um, early bird tickets. But anyways, um, so Bob has been promoting this uh, every week on his Globebusters show. And what's funny here is he promotes this as a social event. Nothing new. You know, nothing new is going to come out of this. No new information. Listen to this nonsense. Uh, you people in the uh, UK and, and uh, EU in general are truly in for a treat. Um, because it, there's just nothing, I, I, it's hard to describe how much fun it is to be together with all the other uh, flat earthers. And like I said, nobody is revealing any new super secret information. This is a social occasion. That's all that they're trying to make it. They're trying to make it interesting. <laughs> An interesting social occasion. People are going to pay at the minimum 500 bucks for a weekend. Probably more than that because three days a hotel is $100 a night figure rounded off to 100 pounds a night um so that's 300 pounds plus the the 129 pounds or whatever for the full uh, weekend ticket you know on your food that's what five six hundred pounds but if you gotta fly there it's more <laughs> so anyways first social event but what was funny was gary john who i gotta say has been in many a chat room stressing out because it's obvious that the tickets ain't selling because he's basically beg begging people to support the UK convention. Buy your tickets now. But then he says, we have some new info taking place, Bob. <laughs> so that new info is likely to be Mike Cavanaugh going up on stage and saying FE Corps had success. It shined a light across a laser across the lake and Prove the lake is flat. The earth is flat. Yay! <laughs> That's going to be their new uh, new, uh, new info. But you know what? What's funny is the ball earthers are still calling that refraction. And you're never going to get away from this tug of war. That's not going to go anywhere. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, I mean, look at the UK convention, though. I mean, look who's there. I mean, this guy and this guy, I don't even know. This guy, I know he's a shill. Dave Murphy's a straight-up shill. I'm calling him an independent is laughable. All these independent FE Corps as if there's two levels of, of flat earthers. <laughs> you know, but uh, Gary John, he's the guy putting this on, I guess, putting the money out front. He's probably going to lose money. I'll show you here in a second. Um, then you got Iru Landucci. He's the guy that... Um, begged for money to ra launch a, a, a high altitude balloon even though the government told him no you're not launching a balloon because in his country you got to ask for permission to launch a balloon and he was denied so now he raised over two thousand dollars to almost three thousand dollars and he can't launch a balloon so then you got this guy martin kenny he thinks you live on a cosmic egg floating through space no lie, not a joke. Got Martin Leakey. Um, you know, Martin, I, I got nothing against him personally, but he's God, he's one of those guys that needs to be felt accepted. That's why he clings on to this clan. Um, he has the need to feel accepted. Um, and uh, Patricia announced on her show the other day that Martin got some teeth. Now, I, I, I'm not trying to make fun of you, Martin. I, I hope you feel better about yourself. And then you got Mike Kavanaugh. Wow, what can you say about this clown? He, 
he takes some astronomy photos and tries to pass them off as work he and his dad did, which was a straight up lie. It was photos that were sent to him and his dad to post on their website. But Mike Cavanaugh is on his Facebook page trying to promote him as his own work. And I mean, that's the biggest no-no in the scientific community is taking credit for somebody else's work. Mike Cavanaugh. So there you go. You have the FE Corps who's been completely discredited based on that alone. Um, there. And, you know, like I say, he I, I could see it now. He's going to go up there and brag. FE Corps, success. The earth is flat. <laughs> we shined a laser across the lake four miles away. <laughs> but there you go. Um, and this is why you're not selling tickets, Gary John, because people are tired of the clown show. I mean, everywhere you go now, it's all about money. Everywhere you go, they're asking you for money. In fact, I'm going to start doing a, um, um, a series of videos called the Flat Earth ATM. Might have the first video out today or tomorrow. I don't know yet. But that's what it is. These guys are just using the, the e-community as a ATM machine to get their cash. All right. Let's move on here. The Flat Earth Convention. You know, FE Corps. Poor members, you got to pay $250 a year for advanced membership, and you don't get shit in return. You don't even get a crappy t-shirt for your $250. You got a crappy-ass laser experiment for your $250 that Globe Earthers are laughing at and just saying it's refraction. So we're never going to get away from that tug-of-war, you know. Oh, the laser proves the Earth is flat. Uh, Globers say no, it proves that refraction is curving around the ball of the earth. That's why you can see it. And so on and so forth. So you never have this never endless tug of war. Um, but anyways, what I find funny is FE Corps has done nothing for its members. Like I said, the laser was a failure. Um, the only thing they have done is they gave you a 10% discount at the UK convention. Wow. Most flat earthers are in the USA. And they can't afford the UK convention. So what good does that do to them? But they don't give FE Corps members a discount for the upcoming convention in Denver or Canada. Imagine that. So FE Corps members, you're screwed. You get nothing for your $250. Suckers. That's what you get for giving them money. Um, <clears throat> but you do get a discount if you can go to the UK convention. But this is why I say it's going to be a failure. Look at all these tickets still available. 133 available for the weekend. Keep in mind, this conference room at the hotel only holds a maximum of 250 people. When you take away the broadcasting, all the cameramen, the media, and the uh, live streaming crew and all their equipment set up, um, you're going to get maybe 210 people in there in the room, maybe 220 Something like that. But look at all these tickets available. 133 of them for Saturday and Sunday. So that tells me when you look up here, um, that tells me Saturday they're likely to have maybe around 100 people. The rest of the time it's going to be slim to none. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Uh, 48 still available for all day access. And mind you, there's only going to be about 220 people. But um, that can fit in that room. And so they're not even going to come close to selling out that room. And that's what I mean by w what's a failure. A failure is is if you rent out a room for 250 and only 100 show up. <laughs> so there you go. There's the proof. If these numbers are correct, that they still got 133 weekend tickets left. Wow. They hardly sold anything. You got 93 Friday tickets left. Um, then you got the all day, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So a lot of these numbers are hard to understand. But the biggest one that stands out is the weekend tickets. They still have 133 left. <clears throat> but there you go. It's going to be a bust. <laughs> you know, people are tired of this uh, ATM uh uh, flat Earth ATM, you know, give us money everywhere you go. Give us money. Give us money. Um, here you go. The uh, upcoming, you know, and this is something one of my subs pointed out long ago. They extended the early bird deadline because the tickets aren't selling for the 
Denver won either. <laughs> you all remember the, the conference in November where like a third of that room was empty. That one corner <clears throat> was pretty much empty, you know, a third of the room. And then they try to pass it off like 600 people were there, which was a bunch of bullshit. You know, the numbers are still, you know, unknown, but I think it was fair to say maybe 200 people at the most at the first convention. So Robbie wanted to go bigger and better at the Denver convention, you know, the Mason capital of the world. Um, doubled the prices, but um, had to create this uh, new group here. Um, if you get four people together, you can get the tickets for $149 each instead of $199 for the group rate. <laughs> and if you don't get them after, before the early birds are up, and the early birds are up at the end of the month, uh, August or April 30th, then the jump it jumps up to 249 bucks. But there you go, all access, 349 bucks. Do you realize how much it costs for the social event? I mean, if somebody's got to fly there, um, 350 bucks for the all access. Um, you know, the hotel rooms probably for three uh, three nights. Say you get there on the first night, and then the next day is a convention. The next two days is a convention. You know, that's going to cost you $100 a night for the hotel. You know, and another $300 for your uh, flight. Another $100 for your food. By the time you're talking, it's $1,000 for this bullshit. Who wants to pay for that kind of money for it? You know, you guys ain't movie stars, and that's what they act like. They act like they're freaking movie stars. And we should be honored to be in their presence. To get freaking real. Um, so, I predict that the... the Denver uh, convention isn't going to be any bigger than the first convention. And Robbie's attempts to make it bigger and better are just going to be just that, an attempt that's going to fail. Then you got the Can Canadian convention. And, I, and let me show you these guests because, you know, it featuring, you know, people are tired of the same people over and over. You got Patricia and you got Jaron and you got uh, Mark Sargent's going to be there and Iru. These are the same, same people as last year. Yawns. You got Karen B. What is she going to do? Tell us about Bigfoot? Huh? How to communicate with them? Huh? That, she, shouldn't even be, she shouldn't even be up on stage just on that alone. Because Jaron said uh, he can't support somebody talking to aliens, but yet he can support somebody talking to Bigfoot? Wow. So then, yeah, you got all these other little clowns, this, this guy and this guy. <laughs> Zen Garcia, I don't really watch him to pay much attention to him, but he's part of the clan. And then you got Flat Earth Man, you know. My opinion ain't going to be popular with you guys about him, but I think he's part of the PSYOP. You know, his music's just a little bit too polished. His video's just a little bit too good. You know, he's obviously not doing this on his own he obviously has a crew helping him and you know i, I feel if there's going to be a reality show coming out he's going to be the one doing the music for that reality show and that reality show is going to star mark and patricia he's all part of the all part of the fuckery but there you go and then 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 yawns you got the canadian uh um, flat earth convention and the same old people you know I'm sorry but you know people are gonna get bored of these clowns real quick and you're just not gonna sell the tickets I mean it's the same nonsense over and over you, you got Jaron I mean Jaron looked like a slob at a convention a flat earth convention the first flat earth convention ever and he looked like a freaking slob in a t-shirt imagine that and he did know preparing for this. Most of them did know preparing for this. They're just all on a social event, basic, basically. That's all it was. Just like Bob said, just a social event. Come meet your YouTube movie stars. Self-appointed YouTube movie stars. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day.